Did you ever just wake up and get on Minecraft and really want to go mining? Uh, yeah, that's me. Today, I'm craving some Minecraft mining. Oh, not here though. I can't mine here. Hello everyone, and welcome to Hermitcraft. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a great day. We have been hard at work lately marking out my elven mega base, along with the village that's gonna pop up over here. And there is a lot of work that still needs to be done. Regardless of that though, I want to start off this episode with a good old fashioned mining session. Only problem is, I have a dwarf living below me, which means if I dig down, I will in fact dig straight into impulse. So to work around that, I'm going to build my own mining area slightly away from our dwarven man's mountain. This shall be our first bit of the village transformation and I'm so excited. I fell into a tree. Now impulse hasn't dug anywhere under this village over here. I checked myself, I know he loves digging, but he hasn't dug that far. So that means that anywhere along here can basically be the area where our mine is. I think that this little path over here could actually be perfect to lead into where we do our mining, and then we'll mine out in the direction of the ocean. All the best mining sessions start off with a little wood chopping. Everyone knows that, it's fine. So here's the path right here, and I think all we'll do is we'll just dig into this a little bit. This is a beautiful start, but it is going in the complete wrong direction because I will dig into impulse going this way. So I'm going to go ahead and let us come down this far, and then I'll have a little platform and we'll swing the staircase the other way. I feel like last season I didn't really go out of my way to give myself a nice area to do some mining, so that's what I wanna do with this area. I want it to actually be nice. I want to have days where I'm just kind of relaxing in Minecraft and I want to come on here and do a little bit of mining. It is Minecraft after all. I feel like it'd be weird if I never wanted to mine. And so I got to work mining. I ended up creating a staircase going all the way down to minus 56 so that we can potentially mine diamonds down there. But the biggest purpose of this mine is just to collect a bunch of cobblestone and cobble deep slate for the build, which it definitely did. Partway down, I managed to find a spider spawner. And then I was visited by a suspicious dwarf, just as I was thinking about putting a sign. Hmm. Yep. Meona reversed me. Yep. That's fine. Eventually though, I settled on a design for my lovely little mine shaft with some spruce wood involved and I think it turned out lovely. I finished my mine. It's a wonderful hole in the ground, but some would say the greatest hole in the ground, or at least the greatest in the Elven Kingdom. This staircase is very windy and slightly decorated and has done the job quite nicely of getting me quite a lot of stone and also cobbled deep sleep, which I massively appreciate. That was a long dig. It is currently 9 p.m. at night in my real life. And while that may not be late for some of you, I am kind of a grandma and that is in fact late for me. However, since we've got so many lovely materials from our dig now, I feel like we should definitely go ahead and just use some of these to build up some of these foundations. I mean, it'd be a shame to see all that cobble and cobble deep slate go to waste, wouldn't it? Realistically, this should be pretty straightforward. We're going to start with some of these circular foundations around here, just building them up out of cobble deep slate or cobblestone, depending on which circle we're on. This one here, I'm going to do out of deep slate, and then this one here will be cobble. I think these later night evenings of building are some of my favorite to ever do in Minecraft. It's just so chill to get on here in like a summer evening when it's really warm out, all of the windows are open. It's so chill. Big. Not now, pig. So these foundations, some of them are actually going to be quite tall. Like, very tall. Much taller than these towers that are marked out here. This is the mega base and just the foundation of it. Although this base doesn't take up a huge horizontal footprint, it is going to be a very vertical base, or at least the most vertical base that I've ever done. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull it off. I think this is me pulling it off. I think I did it. That's probably a good height, right? I feel like, I feel like that's a good height. <laughs> Gosh, I actually really like this. I will admit my builds do look a bit just like blobs of nothingness right up until they don't. So um, yeah, it, it's not, it's not much, but the height of it is pretty impressive in my opinion. Unfortunately, this very short process has drained us of materials. We don't have a ton of stone left. I mean, this looks like a lot, 
but it's not a lot. So I think we'll go ahead now and place all of the blocks that we have in the foundation just to see how far we can get. I mean, we should be able to get a little bit done, like maybe this bit over here. I don't think we'll get very high. It's not a ton of blocks. Let's see, let's do it. I may have gotten a little carried away, but I really like this so far. It looks kind of like the start of some sort of very weird city. <laughs> but I like it. I didn't have quite enough blocks to do every single foundation, but for the most part, all of these sort of lines are at least brought down to, whoop, yep, down here, <laughs> where they can connect to the land in a nice organic way. Let's take a little look at it from here. Ah, yes. That's perfect. That is actually going to transition so well from Impulse's base with all this gray. And then my base will be sort of on top of this gray. It's going to work. It's going to work. I can picture it already. At this point, though, I am pretty much out of blocks. I have a few in here, as you can see, but I've also got quite a lot of junk blocks in here. So I think it's important that I actually take a moment and remove all the blocks that I'm not directly using in the base right now. I'm organizing. I know you've never seen me do this before. This is brand new for us, but I am organizing. I'm, I'm organizing. So I'm going to take all the dirt, the granite, the gravel, things like that, that I'm not really using as the main walls. I'll probably still use these as details, so I want to keep them. I just don't want to keep them here. And for now, we'll store them just down here in our house. Also going to take all the extra stone from my house to the base area, because we're going to need this. Oh, and speaking of the house, Scott sent me a message. He said that I can't be in any more Minecraft championships until I finish the windows of this house. So, uh... I'm gonna finish them, Scott. I'm gonna finish them. I just smelled some glass. There we go. Scott, I know you're watching this. You are welcome. There's windows now. Okay, I feel like now that all of this is sorted out, I have a much better picture of exactly how many blocks I have left to build out of. And I'm noticing zero cobble. So that's where our lovely new mine is gonna come in handy. And this chest situation is helping a ton. Eventually, those chests over there are going to move into this big main area. And we'll be able to divide this up into functional rooms. For now, though, it's just a shell. <laughs> I'm excited for it, though. This has been fun. Now, how about we head back to our mining area and have a little mining session. Just going to spend about 20 minutes or so getting a little bit more cobblestone saved up. Right, I'm bored. I think that's probably enough mining. I've, I've got some cobble and some copper and, and stuff. That'll do, that'll do. I've put away a bunch of my mining blocks now and it's time to finally cover up this kind of ugly hole in the ground. And there's something very important that I need to do. You see, I've been observing a certain impulse. What do you think he's doing down there? Looks like he's got some slimy problems. Look at him go. He's doing smart people stuff. So much smart people stuff is happening. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. Let's go see. Impulse. See you. Hi. 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 I'm gonna blow this place up soon. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm observing you. I made a new sign outside the cave. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Which cave? Yeah, come here. This is oh. my impulse observation <laughs> platform. <laughs> Watch this impulse. Dude. Okay, well, here's the thing. Today is um, it's not gone to plan, uh -huh. and so far, uh, you might want to remove the word "smart" from the sign because um, everything's gone wrong. You're not you're not doing smart people things. Not doing smart people things today. Apparently, I'm doing um, not smart people things today. Uh, well, gotta rewrite the sign. And now we just sit here and we observe. We observe and we learn. But the mining of a dwarf. That's perfect. Two hours later. Mm, Gem, I think it's ready. It's ready. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. It's it's ready to blow itself up again, I'm sure. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's very advanced smart people stuff. Yeah, you wanna you wanna come watch? You can there's a safe spot up top if you wanna just kinda stay in the safe spot. I have to go down and trigger it. Also, I don't know if Pearl might be around. She was just helping dig out a little bit for me. Okay. Maybe uh, maybe we grab Pearl as well. Could be a fun sure. little, like a fireworks show kind of type deal. Could be fun. 
Exactly like a fireworks show. Yeah, that's exactly what, that's what I was thinking. Yes. Okay, let's go. This is a spot. This is a safe spot. Uh, let's see. Pearl. You around? You just have to come over on your bridge and scream. Wanna see? Pearl. <laughs> That Wait, you don't, you don't do this? You don't scream at her? Just in... <laughs> Is that how this works? Pearl! <laughs> Where are you? Don't lose your voice, Jeff. I'm screaming Pearl! here. Pearl! 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 H huddle up. Huddle up. We're going to get, we're gonna get splashed. Up. Ready? Ready? Okay. Wait. Oh, I can't throw it up because there's a roof. Boom. Why is this That'll not do. in suit form? Nice. Sorry. So, yeah. I'm going to, if we're ready, I'm going to go down there and flip the switch. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go boom! Oh, that's a lot of TNT. Oh, oh it's my be loud. gosh. Oh, oh, I hi. think it might have worked. Let's try it again. That looks so good. Whoa. Hey, it's working. All right. Oh, that is so satisfying. It's like this wave of TNT. We're just going to work our way all the way down. <laughs> oh, oh. Don't fall down there, Impulse. I'm not. Good. I'm not. Oh, digging oh. is fun, but this is even better. Impulse's digging is very impressive and somewhat terrifying. So, mine mine over here is going to be a little bit undercover. You know, we don't want the dwarven people to be mad about the elves mining. So, I'm going to cover it up with a beautiful blacksmith build. This will be like the place that it looks like we're crafting weapons or getting ores imported from ships on the sea. You know, we, we got options. We got lore. I'm going to build it. I've, I picked out some blocks. I'm going to be starting with the same foundation as we did on our house pretty much. I'm really enjoying this deep slate. So we're going to use the cobbled deep slate and the deep slate tiles, which I think look absolutely fantastic. I think these colors work so well with this build palette because again, they're so contrasty with that white of the roof. It's going to be perfect. Is there snow up there again? Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We focus. This should work as a little foundation. So in here, obviously, we'll be able to tuck down into the basement and head into the mine. And then we're going to build like a whole upstairs area that'll be decorated and have a whole separate sort of function. I also might fix up this terrain here just a little bit so that this can be a flat area for us to walk on. And then maybe we'll have like a work area on the outside where we can build up this cliff. For now, let's get some walls in. Just get some pillars like this. Gonna need some more smooth sandstone. <laughs> this is a pretty solid shape so far. We're gonna have like an outside veranda over here. We're gonna have this little tiny sort of work area here. And this is the big main structure here. I'm sure there'll be a door in it somehow. Pretty impressive if I do say so myself. This is a solid start, but now we've got to work on the roof. So I've brought a bunch of smooth quartz and this is kind of the difficult part. When I'm doing these really big fancy roofs, I like to mark everything out in full blocks first and then kind of figure out what the shaping should be. This is going to be a roof that is leaning outwards towards the ocean because that's sort of the style of roof that I'm going with here. So we're gonna want a staircase up like normally, but then on this one, instead of going up like this, I'm actually going to just lean it outwards and then go up. So now that we're out on this layer, we go up again, up again, and then out again. <laughs> And you just sort of rinse and repeat that until you've got a very sort of curvy roof staircasing all the way outwards. And from the bottom, that looks something like that. <laughs> Which, this looks very clunky right now, but we're going to transform this by using a bunch of stairs now and also probably a few slabs just to smooth out this curve. And also add a lot of detail, of course. Right, now let's do the rest of this, shall we? Ta-da! A build. I really like how this came out. However, at the moment, it is just a build plopped onto a hillside. There's not much character or personality to it, or really any details to finish it off. So now it's time to put in the details that are really going to sell the fact that this is sort of a blacksmith type of build directly over a mine. And we need all of that character to come into it now. And I think the very first most obvious thing to do is to add a chimney. 
I'm also gonna craft up a bunch of different things to use as our detail blocks with the iron that I have. And I think as far as fireplaces go, we'll have it facing outwards this direction. We'll need to tie this into the terrain as well, of course. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this basalt. I've also mixed some basalt into the foundation just for a little bit of extra texture variation. To really sell this whole blacksmith thing, we're gonna add in some more chimneys. This chisel deep slate is not something I've really used before, but I think it's perfect for a chimney topper like this. Like, I feel like that really sells the look, doesn't it? Those are some solid chimneys if I've ever seen one. Or two. There's two. The other very typical sort of detail that I see on these sort of builds is a little crane coming off of it. So that is what I'm gonna do over here. Just gonna use a very typical grindstone sort of design to come off of that. And then maybe we'll hang a cauldron or maybe some ore or something in the future. But now I'm gonna hang a chain and a lantern for some light. I've seen people doing a bunch of designs with like cauldrons and chains and stuff in doorways and windows. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad, it's kinda different. And finally, let's get a couple of windows in here. Oh, it's looking kinda good, I kinda like it. <laughs> That's such a fun looking blacksmith. Only thing is, it still very much looks like it's just plopped on a hillside. So, let's fix it, shall we? Gonna need some diorite for this. What a treat! Well, what do you think? I feel like this is a blacksmith with a lot of character. At least more character than I'm normally able to get in my blacksmith. <laughs> now, it's not super well connected on all sides. Let's get a good view, hold on. Yeah, there it is. So it looks a little like a puzzle piece, to be honest. Like, it kind of sits here all by itself because there's nothing else around it yet. But I imagine eventually it will connect into a whole elven village quite well. It's a great starter piece. As you can see, I've also connected it to the start of some docks down here, which expands our idea to be able to also potentially have boats if we ever want to, or just general waterside activities. I've tried to get as much details as I can in around this area, and I've also laid out a very rough interior. So this takes you down into the basement where the mine actually is, and I kind of like this because it sort of blocks your view a little bit. And then up here, I've just sort of laid out a rough couple of rooms that we can eventually give a function to. All in all, I'm super happy with this build. It covers up the mine quite well. It's beautiful. There is just one more detail though that it's missing, and that is some algae looking blocks down along here. And I'm gonna do that with some moss. Only problem is, I don't have any moss. So, we gotta go shopping. Here we are, the shopping district. Gosh, this area is beautiful. Look at my little shop down there. <laughs> it's so tiny. Let's actually go ahead and see how we've done. Prismarine, okay. Prismarine bricks, sea lanterns, and dark prismarine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna be rich. So this is the exact reason that I had to set up this quick little shop. I do have a bigger and much more epic shop idea, but it takes time and the hermits do not have time. They would like to use prismarine. Let me just put my personal diamonds there and see how much we've actually made. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Over two stacks of diamonds. So me and Stress have this little chest back here where we share our profits. And that right there is an even profit split. I'll have to come back and restock this soon. Now, uh, let's go spend my money. E-Dubs has a lovely little moss shop right over here. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, B-Dubs, it's so detailed, I love it. And Scar's shop as well. Okay, let's, uh, let's open this up. One stack equals one diamond. And I also think on the inside in here, yeah, he's got this. So you can buy 16 bone meal from the barrels and take them out back. Let's do it and see how it does. Input bone meal. Now I think the moss comes out this chute here. Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's working. Cool, I like this. Wait, I'm getting so much beat ups. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a stack and 22 and some bushes. This is the best shop ever. Very cool shop. Just bought a bit more moss. Now, uh, let's get home. Home sweet home. <laughs> My home is starting to look a lot more impressive. I'm happy with that. Now, um, let's store away some of these green things in here and then grab some stone brick, which hopefully I have. 
Yeah, there we go. And then just some stone brick and some moss. Mossy stone bricks. We can do the same with a little bit of cobblestone too. Okay, so now we're just going to add some of this mossy stuff down at the bottom here. I'm going to try to concentrate it down here. Not so much up at the top where the water level wouldn't really get up there. This is so nice. It should just add like a little touch of color to this area too. I'm not really doing the same thing here, but I'm thinking moss might actually mix in with that diorite quite well. Yeah, I kind of like that. That is such an improvement. A small improvement, but an improvement nonetheless. Of course, I am going to bring the wooden wharves along here and they'll hopefully have some details on them too. But for now, that's epic. I think I'll also mix some mossy cobble into the walkway here. Not really because it's algae or anything, just kind of mixing it in with the grass. We are gonna be absolutely rich. This does look a little tacky though, not gonna lie. We'll just store some on the inside too. And with those finishing details, I do believe we are finished for today. We've got a beautiful mine, a beautiful blacksmith, and the start of a mega base foundation. It's been quite the grand day, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna go restock my shop now and AFK at the Guardian Farm, which you probably don't need to see because that's kind of boring. I'm just, I'm gonna AFK. So, I'll see you in the next episode, everyone. Bye-bye!